Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kingsley Iwunze and I'm coming to you from my desk right here at King Sound Studios. This morning uh, I want to share with you guys a trick on how to get the Wave X noise to show up in FL Studio 11. For those of you that might have been using the Waves Diamond Bundle, uh, you get to notice that after upgrading from FL Studio 10 to FL Studio version 11, all the Wave, the Waves uh, plugin, are no longer visible to FL Studios. Uh, I don't know what they did in this. Uh, new versions of FL Studios but when you, you come you go through the normal routine of adding a plugin and you come down here and you go to first fast fast scan you will notice that the waves plugins are not just there they are not visible to FL Studio and that has been a big problem especially for me because uh, I'm so used to the FO, uh, to the Wave X noise plugin because I use it a lot in vocals I use it to remove background noises in vocals and FO Studio what it comes with is just a uh, noise uh, gates noise gates uh, and I actually need a uh, a noise an actual noise remover and the wave x noise plugin has been doing just that for me and seeing that it no longer comes up in FL Studio 11 uh, it got me worried and hopefully and uh, finally I came up with a way of actually getting it to show up in FL Studio 11 as well as every other recent versions of FL Studio. You can use this procedure and it will work just fine. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to open up uh, an old project you've been working on with uh, the previous versions of FL Studio and that is what I've done. I've opened up this project and this is a project I did in FL Studio 10 and as you can see I used the Waves X noise in uh, mixing the vocals so in opening the previous project you find that the Wave X noise will show up if you have the Waves Diamond plugin installed in your computer, it should it should come up. So, what you have to do now is just go to the plugin, and go to the menu, to the drop-down menu, and go to Save Preset As. Save Preset As the save preset as option and click on it and you can name it whatever you want to name it and just click on save and once you've got that saved all you need to do is go to any new project Ah, uh, this is a new project I've opened and you can go to any mixer track and go to options you wouldn't you will not have it listed here so you have to go to browse presets and click on that and once you click on that you see the windows here will bring out all your plugins in Alpha Studio as in all the presets you've have you've saved in FL Studio all the plugin presets from Edison EQ Fruity Convolver Fruity Delay and once you click them you see all the presets that came with the plugin so what you need to do right now is uh, 
just scroll down to where you will find uh, the fruity wrapper the fruity wrapper X noise and once you click on that you see the X noise preset there this is the one we just saved this is the one I just saved and this was the previous one I saved that I've been using and all you need to do is just click on it and drag it to the FL Studio mixer and just insert it there and you have your X noise ready to be used by you and um, this method can as well work with every other plugin you've been using with the wave uh, diamond bundle so you can use this method to bring every plugin every plugin that you have been using into FL Studio 11 as well as every other recent versions of FL Studio uh, that's all for now and uh, hopefully you've been you'll be hearing more of me and uh, I'll be bringing up some other videos uh, any other thing that I'll be needing to be telling you guys uh, I'll be putting in the, in the description box so enjoy